If you missed the first post about how internal communication glitches are driving customers away, you may want to go back to the first three messages customers may not be telling you orally, except by their exit. Communication breakdown number four. Order from yourself, your own organization, and see what garbage you get. Pray that you never receive a bill with a mistake or a wrong or damaged merchandise. I ordered pottery from an online retailer recently and called when the butter dish arrived broken. The agent's response? Oh yeah, those get broken all the time. The factory doesn't pack them very well. They sent a second dish. It too was broken. Executives never hear about such foul ups because they're routine. Experience those processes yourself. Place an order and make a routine return periodically. Call about the problem and see how you're treated from your organization. Communication breakdown number five. Don't patronize or insult your customers. As a frequent flyer with more than four million miles on one airline alone, I'm pronouncing the TSA, Transportation Security Service, the winner here. As airline passengers wind their way through the checkout points, they start to empty their valuables into the buckets and toss their bags under those conveyor belts. The agents bark orders, roll eyes, and give them patronizing looks like, why can't you people get these rules right? Agents don't realize that different airports have their own subset of rules, rules that may or may not follow the national guidelines. Take your shoes off. You don't need to take your shoes off here. You're holding up the line. Take your tablets out of the computer bag. Don't take your computer out of the bag. Leave it in. Move along quickly. The next place. We need to see your ID again. Keep it out. The next place. We don't need to see your ID again. Put it away. What we as flyers would like to point out, but we don't because we don't want to be made <laughs> to go to the back of the line. We'd never make our plane on time is that these stupid passengers are not the problem. TSA agents apply and enforce rules inconsistently from airport to airport. Other examples of insulting or talking down to customers. Send us proof of the damaged box. Or another one, when did this alleged incident occur? Another one, we recommend that you get some training on this system before our help desk can support you. You heard such comments? They insult your customers. Communication breakdown number six. Don't make your customers do the work. I recently bought two new computers because I had to deal with one specialist for the laptop and a different specialist for the desktop. The retailer rang up two different transactions. That's when we discovered that the store had three different accounts for us. One personal account for me, one business account for me, and more one personal account for my husband. Can they be combined, I asked. No can do, they insisted. Such a complex request has to go to a regional vice president for approval. The best the manager could do was hand me an 800 number to call so I could spend a half an hour on the phone chasing down the regional vice president to amend their internal database. As a customer, have you ever been asked to complete the same lengthy forms repeatedly because the medical office finds it easier to have you do that same form over and over each time you visit rather than just to check their records from visit to visit? Have you ever had to stand in line X and then stand in line Y, then stand in line Z? all because the organization hasn't gotten around to clarifying their signage so that you can get in the correct line the first time? Has a service agent ever asked for you to send documentation for some transaction, misplaced it, and then requested that you resend everything? If you're using a lot of statements that start with, you'll have to or you need to, watch out. Customers who have to work to do business with you may decide not to. Poor internal communication produces chaos and consternation for your customers. If 
they hang around long enough to experience the full brunt of it. Can you add other examples of internal communication breakdowns? Jot those in the comments section below.